So who's this? This is Brian Scott Hampton. Okay. He's originally from Oklahoma, lives in Colorado now, and he's uh, represented by New Conscious Gallery. My name's Jonathan Lamb. Okay. I'm an artist in Denver, Colorado, a printmaker, a muralist, and I like to paint big and invite my friends to come do it with me. Co-founder of a company called Like Minded Productions with a gentleman named Michael Ortiz as well. No, this is Elvis. Elvis is a lo local native, born and raised in the neighborhood. No, this event started six years ago uh, as a graffiti battle and has grown over the years to include other types of street art and large scale imagery in addition to continuing to support and celebrate the graffiti voice. Came and participated last year in the event. Okay. They paid their own dime to get out here. Man. Last year and this year, so it expanded, let them double their wall because they paid their own way. I enjoy color in my life, so that the more color, the better for me. Uh, my art studio is located in the alley, so it directly affects us. Um, I'm not a graffiti artist myself. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a painter, and I know painters, and I like to invite my friends to come hang out and paint with me. I also know graffiti writers and want to make sure that uh, as street art is celebrated, that their voice is celebrated, um, being the voice of birth for street art, uh, having it come directly out of graffiti. I had a, uh, a good friend say to me over the phone, we were talking about this today, um, just about the differences, and he had an interesting analogy of um, graffiti being a downhill mountain biker going at 40 miles an hour and a street artist maybe on a beach cruiser on the beach going at 20 miles an hour. Both take skills and both could be dangerous, but maybe one is more dangerous than the other. Right. Um, you know, I, I think from what I've seen, um, artists from both styles have both gotten private commissions from painting at this event. And so it seems to me on a commercial level, um, dollars are flowing to both people. You know, we definitely don't like arts to be exploited. That's why we love our event being on the street, that it's, you know, almost every artist here is painting pro bono. Absolutely. I think there's a a huge struggle on a local, national, and international level. You know, I think some cities where this burgeons, it's just an active thing so much more than it is here. Uh, I think that here there's a very balanced voice of room for everyone to paint that our urban landscape isn't so dog-eat-dog -dog and everyone stepping on each other that there's actually room in this community to grow with how much open space there is around here. And I think that the renewal and growth of this neighborhood isn't just about the art or the culture that's in it. It has a lot to do with the largest public transportation project in the country about to come online uh, and an area of town that was neglected for many decades. And that uh, the unification of the community and the community building the art project represents can be its strongest asset to strengthen our community before the next wave comes in and tries to gentrify and push out our community. You're watching Jonathan Lamb from Like-Minded Productions on Smoking and Public Opinion, Industry Cannabis.